Hey, what up, shoot tube? This is Mo Butters back again on the Stone Cold Kicks channel, and I got another sick lit beater box battle for you today. We got two Soul Supremacy beater boxes here, and they are both the exact same cost. They're both 450 bucks. So with our beater box membership, we have the monthly fees. But when we get the chance to cop, we do that. We cop some beater boxes. These are both the same price, 450. We both gonna get these popping right here. As always, this is Mo Butters right. Uh, Mo Butters, you know me. Rock 'em, stock 'em, kicks. You know how we do it. We're going to go ahead and get these boxes popping. In the description will be the links for our Ebays and where we sell the kicks. Also, you can check us out on Instagram. Go ahead and slide in a DM. That's the fastest way to contact, pretty much, if you want to cop something from either one of these videos. Hopefully, if you see some of your size and your price range right away, let us know if you want to cop that. Send you a pick or two, but hopefully you can see the shoe pretty good in the video. See the, the quality, you know, the condition. And just go ahead and cop. We have several people that cop from the channel, so shout out to you guys and thanks for copping. We appreciate it. Yep, steady coppers. That's always appreciated. Mm -hmm. Appreciate the views and definitely when you're copping these shoes because that's what it's all about. Flipping these things. I got some of these. It's some Lucy's or these some Jordan number 30s. Jordan number 30 lows. Yeah. Are these 30s or 31s? I'm not sure. They look like 31 Yeah, these are the 31 lows. Yeah. And these look to be brand new dead stock. Big size. What size at all? And this look like a big 14, size. 14, probably. Let's see. Good guess. 14. <laughs> size 14 on the big foot end. And these are looking brand new. Kind of has like a camo, gray camo going on. It might be a 3M type of flick on there. These remind me of the. There's a Jordan 1s <laughs> with some gray camo on them. That's kind of a recent release. Kind of look like some shadows, but got the great camo on there so these are all right got the chrome in the back brand new bigfoot size 14 let me know mm -hmm. all right well i'm gonna kick it off i don't have no loose pair at all i got some kids size here seven y jordan six unc all right Colorway all right dead stock new release yeah new release that's decent i actually like these though but uh dead stock as y'all can see i like those too the black and blue yeah so new release seven Youth, 7Y. Brand new dead stock. Let me know if y'all need them. I like these though, man. Those got a good demand. Those sold out. Yeah. For a new release, a lot of J's haven't been selling out, but those did. Yeah, I like the suede on here too. Nice suede on there. Over on this side, well, we got some J's in the black and gold box. Jump man. This looks to be a size 12. What is it? It's a pretty good hot fire pair. Yeah. This is some bread 11 lows. Just kind of a big size 12. And these look to be in use condition. Very good use condition though. Barely a crease on there. A little slight crease. The Jordan 11s get that pretty often. Mm -hmm. A little bit of compression from being worn on the white midsole right there. But not a lot of wear on the bottom. Still very good. All the tread is on there. Barely signs of dirt. All right, patent leather looking good. Mm -hmm, nice and shiny. These are the, the head turners. Jordan 11s with the, with the wet patent leather always. Always a classic. Always get that attention. Pretty cool. These size 12, bread 11, low. All right. Um, I got another 7Y. Kyrie. Kyrie ones. A little loud colorway. Um, I like the Kyrie ones in general. That's my I favorite they got, Kyrie. Yeah, me, mine too. I see the new Kyries kind of have this little Kyrie design. Fours, but, yep. Yeah, they got That's, this design, but a little different. What'd you about yeah, this is my favorite part of the Kyrie ones, them teeth looking things. And yeah. then they brought that back with the Kyrie fours. Yeah, they brought it back with the fours. So I like it. I like the ones and these fours are decent. I mean, the fours are decent, but these ones are cool. So. It might be the Easter release. Yeah, I'm not sure what a release, but 7Y <laughs> kid size. So let me know if you need them. Good condition though. They've been warm, but not much, it looks like. So. Okay, okay. Let's see what we got. I got some KDs for you. Where the KD heads at? Let us know, let us know. These are some good ones. Nice uh -huh. release. Them, Auntie um, Pearls. Um, Pearls, yep. Yeah. The nice cool wing up front for the strap. These are the good use condition. That's the big size 12. Overall, they're looking pretty nice. Just little signs of wear, little signs of dirt, mostly just on the bottom where you might walk on some dirt, but not really worn. Toes still clean. Demont Pearls, KDs. Let me know if you need these. So I got some KDs too. Let us know, let okay. us know if you need okay. them. <laughs> so uh, these are the 10s. It's looking like about a box. Um, mm -hmm. It's the newest KDs, I think. Seat. Yeah, these are the new ones. I had the upside down. I went through the seat. Um, you saw these earlier. 
These are yeah, these are good stock. Yeah, those recently I had yeah, a bigger size. Dead. I sold mine already. Had them a couple this weeks. Is size ago. nine, size nine. So these are dead stock. You sold them already? Sold them already. Yeah, that's cool. These are cool. They got some uh, accessories in them. I'll well show y'all like some pins. Yeah, these are the steel KDs. I guess that's what they call them. So yeah, that's a lot of pins and then just a little card that come with it too. So yeah, so these are size nine uh, dead stock. Yeah, these are cool though. So we got a couple of Kevin Durant's in our boxes. Yeah. KDs. MVP. You the real MVP. Let's see what right. we got right here. Some 11 and a halves. Jordan. 13 lows. Playoffs. Black and red. Breads. Leather top. Call them what you want. These are pretty good use condition. They've been worn a few times. It's that classic beater box size of a size 11 and a half. I say that because I get a lot of them in these self supremacy beater boxes. Yeah, we and, do. Yeah, and I don't wear them. Nobody in the house really wears 11 and a half, so they are always for sale mm -hmm. in the links below. Hit up the, that size 11 and a half if that's your size. All right, common size. All right, I got some uh, Adidas. We got some boots on there. there. Some boots, I see that on the side. So these are some DS. Uh, we like some Adidas EQT boots. support, something like that? The equipment support nine is what it's saying. So, I mean, you know, these Adidas are always comfortable. Can't go wrong with an all white colorway, man. So all white, dead stock. Dead stock, too. With the boots. With the extra lace. Laces in there, tags. So, these are decent. What's the size on them? Yeah, I think they're size, size on them. Size nine. Yeah, so they are size nine. Yeah, dead stock. So, let me know if you need them. These are definitely popular shoes, Adidas and stuff. So, these should go pretty quick. Boosting. Yeah. So you got a couple more over here. I got Nike on this side. We got oh, some Air Max. Some blue and white. These are the Air Max Zero Essential. Big Pretty size. cool. Big size 14. Mm -hmm. It's the big foot and they've been worn, but just a little bit. Pretty white throughout the whole shoe. Like nice and bright and white and clean, except for the bottom. Walking on some dirt. It's the oh, big foot okay. size 14. Air Max Zeros. This is black. Yeah, this is black and white. All right. Other way, so let me know if you need these big foots. These are going for sale for sure. Yeah. <laughs> black big and white foots. and wolf gray. Yeah. Let me know if you need them. They're pretty cool though. Yeah, I they know are. they sell for kind of a lot. What was this retail real There's quick? Retail. 130. Oh, Only yeah. 130, but I've seen some seen Air Max uh, Zeros sell for upwards of a They were looking DS though. They were looking really yeah, good. Yeah, from the top, they look really good. These look DS too. These are Air Max One Jewel. Mm -hmm. um, Looking at the interior, they look like they were warm, maybe just warm. a little sock lint. Yeah, just sock lint. But that bottom that. with that tinted, like a smoke tint, clear sole bottom. So these are pretty good. I actually like those jewel uh, Nike signs. That's like so, the old school. Yeah, like that's on the Air old Force school on Air Force One. So these been worn maybe one time. Um, let me show you how I them. This is a size eight and a half. So a little small feet heat. Yeah, these are decent though, man. So let me know if you need them. Uh, maybe for sale. Pretty simple colorway, but a nice shoe. Two more boxes on my side, so you might have to pull see. a double next yeah, time. Yeah, I got like four more. Damn. Okay, okay. Well, what I got is some pretty good heat, though. Oh, yeah. Some LeBrons. What the? Yeah. Let's see what size it is. Big size, size 12. 12. And yeah, these are LeBron, LeBron 11s. Yeah, you may as well show them the other pair, too, because they're the? different on both. Show both shoes because yeah, they're different. they're different on both shoes. Yeah. It's like a mix of a lot of the different LeBrons, LeBron's. the most popular ones, like the graffiti and a whole right. bunch of different stuff. A lot of bright colors. Some real head turners for sure. Rocking yeah. these, you're going to get some comments. You're going to get you all type them. of stuff going on. Like, hey, what's those about? Especially people that aren't familiar with them. Yeah, they did some what the Colby's, what the LeBron's. I think they did KD's too, but yeah. Pretty cool. Decent. And what's the condition? Very good use condition, barely right. worn. Just a little slump. Slight sign of dirt down there. I think these might have glow bottoms on, on yeah, there too. On that one shoe, it does look like it. It's possible. Pretty cool. And then Brown, yeah, what does? Cool. And I remember this part, of, I think these were on the four, if I can't mistaken. Like Madison Square Garden and the graffiti. So that's pretty cool. That's a cool little come up right there, man. Yeah, I like these. I just sold a pair on mm -hmm. eBay. And actually, what happened, I sold them before Christmas. 
and they were like, hey, I'm trying to get these before Christmas. Mm -hmm. And they ended up getting rerouted from Colorado to all the way to San Antonio, Texas. It was the Man. USPS's fault, but they made it to their destination just a couple of days late. Right. They were still pretty satisfied with the you know, quality as described on eBay. That's where everything sells at. As long as they got them, that really yeah, happens. They got though, them. Man. It's rare, but it was the post office's fault because I'm sure they were swamped right. this last couple of weeks. Right, so I got like, I'm about to crack like about three in a row though, man. Get it popping over here. All right, so I got some uh, Nike Air Max. Damn, I like these actually. This is size eight and a half. I like this green. They call Nike Air Max studs. Stussies. Stussies. These are straight though. Yeah, so this is, uh, I think these go for a decent price too though, man. Mm -hmm. Should be over I like 100. these, yeah. And they got the little, look like almost like a Hirachi type booty on the inside. If y'all can see that, that's, that's the tongue. Um, and just a nice little green, white bottom. Looks to be, they've been warm, but not much. Warm once or twice, barely. So those are decent. Size eight and a half, Air Max 95. Always a classic. Green tops. And forever will be, you know. So those are straight. I'll put those. I like the box too. Box nice dope sturdy too. box, double. Yeah. With the drawer. Box is dope. So let me see what else I got, man. So I got some more seven Y, seven U KD. These are KD sevens actually. That's them bad apples. Yeah. I remember. I remember seeing these. I like these bad apples though. This is size seven. It's a pretty uh, nice colorway. Yeah, it is a cool colorway. But uh, they've been used, but not much, man. Especially for a kid size. So. This is a KD7. Um, getting some KDs in this box. So let me know if you need those. Rip those off. Little feet heat size. Seven youth. Those down there with the kid sizes. Then I got some Jordan 14 candy canes. Candy canes. Yeah, I was a fan of these here, man. These are barely rock too. Looking fresh. Looking fresh. Fresh, fresh, fresh. Size, size nine. These might be a 2005 release, I wanna say. Just looking at the box. Yeah, 2006, well, 2006 was when they came out. I remember when they came out, but. Um, just good on, oh yeah, that leather and everything. And I like the candy cane uh, 14s though. So mm -hmm. those are dope. Check out the back. Um, barely rock, man. Sometimes those get a little yellowy, but yeah. those are nice and bright white all you know, over. Especially for the uh, back, bright white. Especially for old ten six year, man. over ten yeah. year old release. That yeah. hot fire. I gotta show y'all the bottoms too. You know what I'm saying? Barely a sign of dirt. That's the only way you could tell that they were worn. A little sign of dirt on the bottom. Yeah, especially the interior too, because with a fresh. white interior, them especially that that's velvet that like soft. material, man. So soft on the inside of those. Yeah, yeah, so that's a, that's a nice little find. Yes, yes, those selling nice, those put them selling. Up top. Those should be selling decent. And then uh, some more KDs, KD6. Another one. So, uh, bright looking colorway. A little girl colorway. Yeah, man. So these, are, these should go pretty soon. They've been worn with decent condition though. Looks a bit worn. I would assume that was like a girl cash out. You know, she cashed out her collection. That's what I'm she thinking because none of these shoes have been like smoke. Barely worn. And they all the same size, so seven Y. And they all most of the KDs had the you know how they put the picture on the box and stuff. So it's obviously the same person. So I've been coming across that. And then um, that's it. You can crack your. I got one more box left. All right. So we both I'll, one I'll finish off my side. Let's see. We got Jordan John Man coming out. Look to be a big size 12. We'll see what's popping in here. Bright. There we go. Some hot fire. <laughs> oh, some hot fire. Them infrared two, three. Hard to get the bright aspect of it mm -hmm. on the camera of how it looks really in hand. But these are pretty cool. Nice and bright red. Infrared two, three. Bright red. It's not really the pinkish version mm -hmm. of the infrared 2.3 this is a bright red these yeah. are pretty cool this is black and red these look used just a little bit dirt on the bottom is like mostly the only sign of wear on them yeah. very nice these are pretty cool i've only had like one or two pairs ever of these these are pretty rare these are nice pretty cool it's that big size it's a 12. 14. Oh, it's a 12. yeah size 12. Yeah, i like these though it's that high fire they're for sale currently but they might get copped pretty quick yeah Soon after his video, it's that size 12. Yeah, size let them know. Go. Let them know if you need them. Yeah, sure. Go. Jump on them if you have to, but I don't even know if they'll be available. And for a two, three, Jordan number sixes. 
No room on top. They can sit on the bottom. That's all right. We put them over here so it's still visible, though. Yeah, for sure. They probably belong in the top. That's what I was saying. There's some nice pieces in there, but I got just a little less quantity than you got on your side. Yeah, you got some good heat, though. But uh, I got some LeBrons here, though. LeBron. LeBron 7s. This has always been a cool box with all these pictures and everything of LeBron on there. So this, I think, when he was with the Heat, um, I mean Heat, I think when the Sevens was out, yeah. I think this is his first pair when he was with the Heat, if I'm show not mistaken. All this, uh, if he was on the Heat with them, let's show all this Ohio stuff on here. Yeah, this is all Ohio stuff. All though. on the box is all type of Ohio That is pictures. true. That is true. They got his street, Akron. It's a lot. Yeah, it is a lot of Ohio stuff. But I do, I think he was with the Heat with this, if I'm not mistaken, though. Right, I don't remember. Remember. I'm not mistaken, but it probably wouldn't. He probably wouldn't do that, so That's I'm probably nice wrong. Shooter, whatever that he was. probably He probably was with the Cavaliers. But I'm not a big LeBron head, but he cool. But these are cool. What size are these? Eight and a half? Eight a and a foot. half. So these are decent. Uh, They've been worn, though. We got the trash and trash. But they ain't clean, though. In good clean condition, but they've been worn. It's a nice used. shoe. It's a decent colorway, man. Almost like a patent leather with like a tuxedo 11, if you want to look at Black it. Black and white. Almost something like that. But these are decent. Um, so let me know if you need them. Um, LeBron 7. That cool. little foot, 8.5. So thanks, as usual, for tuning in to Mo Butters and Rock'em Stock'em Kicks over here on the Stone Cold Kicks channel. Popping these boxes two at a time, all the time. We'll go ahead and slide into the on feet heat portion. We got some personal pairs, show them off, and share them with you. Um, this is what I got, some hot fire. Always a classic. And this is the countdown pack version, bread 11s. I got a little extra lace in there, the black and red breads, the little boot laces with the little red ticks on there. It's kind of an old school thing. They're kind of hard to find now. Yeah, they are though. And these um, show a little wear on the back with that, mm -hmm. stretched out, a little beat up. Two, three, but that uh, happened on that pair a lot. Yeah, that's though. how it goes. Huh? Yeah, that's how it is. These get some wear, so I ain't worn a lot. They're very good condition. It's the countdown pack. Got this in there. I got a couple of pairs of these breads. One of my faves. That hot fire. You know how I do it. What you got over there? I got uh looking at the Niners hat I got on. I had a pair of uh Diamond Turf Twos. Uh, Dion. This is Dion's uh shoe, of course. He wore these when he was with the 49ers. Uh he actually wore these in the Super Bowl in the mid 90s i want to say 94 um when they beat the san diego Chargers, so he actually wore he this don't. pair and these were really rare because these didn't come out he only wore them in the super bowl uh and they didn't come out back then in this color they were really limited and the pair that did come out that was really limited they had a 21 on the tongue back in the day but uh you know but this one was just diamond tarp too which is the way they came out i always liked the uh the logo on the back and then i also the had field a goal uh, logo yeah the field goal logo i also had a white ones too this was actually my first, uh, this was a general release, but this was my first Diamond Turf when I was a kid. So Double. this always takes me back, man. And I always like the suede that goes around this shoe right here because it reminds me of a Jordan 9 with the, uh, I guess it's like three sparkly 3M type. You know, it's on the Jordan 9. Um, Chicago 9. Yeah, Chicago 9. Now, so um, these are always pretty cool, man. I always like the two little dots on the toe. So they're unique, but they plain looking. Um, so these are the diamond turf tools though. So dope in my opinion. Go with the Niners hat. Sure. So thanks for sharing that heat with us and Dion's. Prime time. Yep, so Legends. you know how we do it. Two at a time, all the time. Rock and stock and kicks, you know more butters on the Stone Cold Kicks channel. We get it popping. Thanks for tuning in. Until next time. Sick lit.